name's Julie March. I'm the Agriculture and Food Security Advisor for USAID's Office of U.S. Foreign Disaster Assistance within the Bureau of Democracy, Conflict and Humanitarian Assistance. I'm Louise Sperling and I'm a Senior Technical Advisor at Catholic Relief Services based in Baltimore, Maryland, U.S. I wanted to highlight for people the new tools that are available to assess seed systems. We call them the Seed System Security Assessment. And it's a tool and assessment guide that really lets us look at seed systems as a whole. So we're looking at all components of how farmers access seed. Using those tools helps us target responses more efficiently and more sustainably. And that was one of the primary takeaways. I also wanted to highlight um, how these tools are really useful not only for emergency relief, but for forming a baseline of information about seed systems for use by more um, development-oriented goals. So looking at commercial seed market development, looking at a baseline for disaster risk reduction activities, and, and really forming the basis of information for other parts of um, international agricultural assistance. We can really help farmers spur production, income, nutrition, but we can also do negative things and that they're a good set of lessons, particularly in the last 10 years, which can help us do better. So it's to bring practitioners on board that um, things have changed. Let's, let's learn more. We can do better. We've learned so much about seed systems and seed interventions over the past 10 to 20 years. And as a result, we as USAID and our implementing partners, the NGOs, UN organizations are all doing a much better job of targeting aid effectively and strengthening seed systems long term. But there's still plenty of room for us to do a better job and that's why these tools really help us move along that, that direction. Well looking forward, I would hope on the emergency side that program managers will guide their staff to do more sharpened responses not just accept I gave this amount of seed and I reached this amount of people. The issue now is did that seed benefit people? What kinds of results did it give? Production, nutrition, income. So a sharpened response even in the short term. In the medium term what we've learned about seed systems show that the stresses are sometimes very short term but most often even short term they're over overlain with chronic stresses need for development opportunities so where i hope the conversation goes is that stresses in the short term lead to real changes in medium term strategies to benefit smallholder farmers you know, we've been using certain models, particularly geared to maize, particularly geared to commercial farmers, and smallholder farmer needs deserve to be equally addressed, and our seed security assessments are giving us insight into how smallholder farmers function, their preferences and their needs. Let's use them, let's use them even on the developmental side. Let's keep on this discussion. Let's keep the emergency people speaking with the development people. Let's keep the commercial private sector speaking with the public sector and the informal sector. We're all in this together and we'll be stronger if we're united.